On January 9th, several days before the legislative session began, the Washington State Supreme Court issued an order that has further ramped up the debate on education funding. Can you tell us about that order? Yes. Uh, first of all, about two years ago, the Supreme Court ruled that the legislature was not fully funding education. That's called the McCleary decision. What made it unusual in this case is the Supreme Court kept jurisdiction. And so just recently, they came out with another order that said, no, legislature, you're still not doing enough. Many lawmakers say they are concerned that the Supreme Court is overstepping its constitutional separation of powers by trying to micromanage the legislature and the level of funding of education. Do you share those concerns? I do share those concerns. There is a basic separation of power listed and stated very well in our Constitution. That's the executive branch, judiciary branch, and legislative branch. They are their own functions the way they work and now they're merging with our Supreme Court decision into telling the legislature how we are to fund education in this example. And so yes, we favor education, but we need to do it based on our budgeting and our decisions within the legislature, not just what the Supreme Court tells us what to do. Some lawmakers are concerned that if they complain out loud about the court order, it makes them appear to not support fully funding education, even though that's not the case. What are your thoughts? Well, and that's true. Uh, that people can get that perception. But our Republican caucus has made it a high priority to fund education first. And last year, we funded an additional $1 billion, which was a heck of a good start toward meeting our, our goals of fully funding education. And so now the perception is that the court has continued to keep jurisdiction, continuing to tell us how we are to fund what parts of education rub some of us the wrong way because that it now is starting to violate the separation of powers. We are taking a strong stand on fully funding education, but we want to do it on our own volition based on the facts and our budget scenario. As this issue moves forward, where will you stand on the issue of funding education? I will continue to, to stand firm on funding education first. It is our paramount duty to fund education. We will continue to do that.